Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising monthly tarot reading for uh, June 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards, and uh, we can go straight away to the spread. All right. Just a moment. Right, so um, <clears throat> the first card which marks the topic of your month cancers, this is going to be uh, the devil card, followed by the second card which regards to uh, something peripheral, things that uh, potential things that you can go for should you decide to do. Uh, this is a completely optional card here that is going to be the Six of Swords. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the challenges that you need to face throughout the month. That is going to be the moon card. Followed by the uh, fourth one, which is what helps you, what gives you dry, drive the positive, uh, the positive energy or the positivity of the month. That is to be the five of swords. And then the last one is going to be the guidance um, that Taro offers to you. And that will be the ace of wands. So um, once again, the cards... Uh, the Devil is the first one, followed by the uh, Six of Swords. Third card, that is to be the Moon card. Uh, the fourth one is uh, going to be the um, Five of Swords. And then the last card for you Cancers, that is to be the Ace of Wands. Alright, so, uh, well, it looks like that, that this month you're going to have it your way. I mean, everything is going to happen the way you want to happen here with the very, very powerful energies. <clears throat> that will allow you to basically, I would say, alter your outcomes or will go for things that you really yearn for. It is your wish fulfilling months for you. But you need to know that there is a your price that needs to be paid in regards to your um, to this drive. And that price is a price that you will not know. That price has to be paid afterwards. So before we go to the reading, um, here on the final note as a uh, the overview, uh, before you go or you opt for something throughout the months, make sure that it is really what you want. Because regardless, you know, uh, you are to achieve it and afterwards you will have to pay for that achievement. So the very topic of the month, it is the devil card. And the devil points that this month you are going to be unstoppable. You will have that unstoppable power and, of, and also uncontrollable as well. Uncontrollable, what I mean is that people may become drunk, may succumb to it, believing that this will be um, their state for the rest of their days, okay? And that will be a rather quite big mistake for their behalf. This power that it is given to you by the devil card, it is only for throughout the month. And that's why you need to use this, uh, these, these energies or that power to, I, I say to achieve your things, but on a reasonable fashion and on a reasonable um, 
price as well. Additionally to that, with the Devil card, you can definitely foresee of any very meaningful and uh, faithful circumstances in regards to your marriage or in regards to your career as well. Uh, circumstances which are going to allow you to go for what your soul yearns. Because this month for you, um, Cancers with the Devil card here, you are given the privilege, you are given the power, you know, to uh, feed your hunger. And that's why at the start of the month, you have to ask yourself and you need to answer to that question for yourself. What is your hunger? Where does your hunger lies? All right. The accompanied card here, that is to be the two of swords and the formation that we do have for you guys. That is to be a, a passive enemies. So the time for waiting, it is over. It is now or never to feed up your hunger. So you are, uh, but uh, uh, when I say hunger, that is a very broad, um, broad term. So a hunger means uh, with the devil card, that if, you, if your hunger is about relationship, then this month you can force, and I'm saying force a relationship, all right? If your hunger is for getting a, a better job, this month you can get a, a better job. If you use those powers given to you wisely, <clears throat> Of course, you know, that will, as I said, come with a price. But with the two of swords here as a um, passive enemy to the devil, uh, it looks like that you don't have to think it any longer. I mean, you do have that, um, the means, okay? And you'll have to use the most out of those means in order to make your wishes come true because the devil... Um, well, I would say it that way, you know, in many religions, the devil is considered that evil thing you know and it does evil because it does evil i am not personally a religious guy but i you know read a lot of books in regards to that and well i will explain it in a sense of the tarot cards the devil card is not a bad card uh the devil comes around to give you everything that you want so you can prove to the Lord that you are uh, that you are not going to misuse it, that you are not going to abuse it, that you are worthy for the heavens. All right. So this is what the job of the devil in tarot is. So it gives you everything that you want, and you do not, you know, take advantage of it, but rather you manifest it and you make it worth worth your while, and um, you know you also, for example, help to other people. Um, so, uh, that being said, uh, this month you can use whatever it is given to you as a power cancers to create good or to do evil. That is entirely, entirely your choice. Okay. And how the month is going to proceed from there, it does depend entirely on you. So you can, uh, what, what I'm trying to say here is, is let's say that you do have um, difficulties in your marriage, all right? And in the month of June, you do have the power to change that. So with that power, and I'm saying to change, not to improve. So with that power to change, you can change it and improve it, consolidate on it, you know, make yourself happier, make your husband or wife happier. Or you can use that power to destroy it. That is entirely up to you. It depends what your soul yearns. Because this month, like I said, you get what your soul yearns should you take advantage of the powers given to you. So the second card it does uh, represents the um, peripheral things, you know, uh, goals that you can go for. And uh, the only way that I can think of the Six of uh, Swords really fits into, uh, into all this is like a, um, a traveling or a really bold actions that now you feel that you are capable to manage of. Okay, so if you plan a traveling, um, <clears throat> you know, on a vacation, for example, or just to explore, that definitely is in an option available for you throughout the months of June. If you have planned your vacation, for example, in the months of June with the Six of Swords, it does look like that this vacation is going to definitely um, happen and it will uh, grant you some ventures as well, adventures, excuse me, uh, as well. The accompanied card here that is to be the page of uh, the page of pentacles, and uh, the formation here it is a active enemies once again. So um, 
well previous the previous combo was passive enemies so as an active enemies here you can't really rely on a long run or on a long term with this uh, with these endeavors here risky or rather like pushy endeavors <clears throat> either traveling or something that you didn't have the means until this very moment, but now you do have them to traverse that threshold or rather like, you know, to manifest it. You cannot rely on it for the long run. It is something temporary. It is something just a, a small achievement of yours along the way, but it's not going to hurt you if you establish it. <clears throat> if you establish it either way. And lastly, these couple of cards here are, point, are giving a glimpse for some sort of a, a peacemaking that you can do uh, with someone from your social circle, I believe it's going to be, but this piece is not gonna last very long and uh, it just is gonna give you a, a temporary, you know, uh, a, a peaceful environment for you to catch up your breath and let's say readopt your strategy or is gonna buy you time, you know, to now chase fully devoted the dreams of your heart or your wishes, your hunger. The, the second, the third card, excuse me, the, the third card that is to be the challenge and we do have the moon card. So with the moon card, I set a price that you will have to pay about uh, in regards to fulfilling your hunger or feeding up your hunger. And that will be the challenge. The challenge first, realizing that there is a price, there is no such thing as a free lunch anywhere around the world, you know. And the second thing is, uh, the challenge is to um, kind of figure out is any kind of a price really worth it? And above everything else, by striving towards your hunger, either being a specific person, relationship, you know, better job and so on and so forth, how much do you jeopardize your current positions? It's very, very important because when June is over, the power of the devil card is going no is no longer going to uh, apply to you. Well, maybe it's going to it's going to. I mean, the chance is one of seventy eight because for the next month we we may have the devil card for you as well. Once again, you know, for the prime uh, for the prime theme for the prime topic. But the point here with the moon card is that you have to recognize: is this what you are after? is something substantial with something that you cannot live without all right uh, or can you um, basically skip on it and so on and so forth because the moon card here points that once you jump into that endeavor either relationship new job or whatever you know you will have to walk to its very end okay and the end with the moon card it is unpredictable uh, the, the the path that you're gonna walk you know goes beyond the summit what is beyond the summit you don't know, I don't know, no one knows. So once again, you have to very carefully scale is that you are after and that you do have the power to manifest really worth it to a certain extent. Like I said, you will not be able to foresee the end, but at least at, until the point that you know what is to happen, you know, you have to make up your mind is the price or is it really worth it? So uh, the accompanied card of the moon that is to be the four of uh, the four of swords, uh, the formation that we do have it is a passive neutrals, and it doesn't look like that uh, you will uh, be able to actually gather up m much of an information about uh, this endeavor. So it's all about it all comes to a um, how can I place it? It all co it all comes to hunches and it all comes to uh, an intuition and an inner feeling. You know, is it worth it or is it is it not worth it? Because no one can really tell you definitively you know what is going to happen with uh, with either your future relationship or with either the future of your marriage or with either the future of your job that is in the long term that I'm uh, that I'm talking about <clears throat> So uh, with these couple of cards, it will be best uh, not to give yourself away as well to the imagination and to the daydreaming and especially believing in the doom and gloom, but, but try to stay objective, try to stay rather logically oriented, uh, oriented as well. But uh, eventually at the end, the decision, should you go for it or should you not go for it, it will be rather made in, in regards to your to combining your imagination and your wisdom. It's gonna be something like a mix of it. It's very difficult to explain, but it's going to be a rather um, a mix of it that a very little people uh, or a very few people are going to understand where you're coming from once you express, you know, what you came up with. So uh, the fourth card here is going to be uh, what helps you throughout, um, throughout the month. 
and this is the Five of Swords. So uh, <clears throat> a very positive card when it comes to this follow-up. First of all, the Five of Swords points that you will be completely aware how far you can go, all right? And that being said, it doesn't look like that the um, that you're gonna take a, a huge risks because you will be fully aware of where your limits lies and what your capabilities are additionally. Further than that, the Five of Swords here points that you will realize, you know, how big op how big opportunity or rather like how big opening you do have in front of yourself in order to manifest a thing that you desired for a long time. And I believe that you're gonna take full advantage of, um, of this opening while in the same time recognizing that somewhere along the way there will be a price for it and you can pay to a, a certain extent and you will realize that sometimes, you know, not everything worth the price at the end. The accompanied card that is to be the Three of Cups that we do have with the Five of Swords. <clears throat> so that is a little bit of a peripheral thing uh, here. The formation it is in an active neutrals once again. And you well, basically with the Three of Cups here, you will care less what the people think. As a matter of fact, um, <clears throat> I don't believe that you will even gonna, uh, going to share what you are thinking of doing in regards to your private life, with your friends, you know, or either with your family. So you will not feel the necessity to uh, to share your plans with those whom your plans does not concern at all. Additionally to that, uh, you uh, with these couple of cards, you will feel rather emotionally satisfied in a sense of that you will not feel that you need an emotional support from somebody in order to uh, stray toward the earning of the, uh, the earnings uh, of your soul. And uh, as, a, as I said, it's a little bit of peripheral. The peripheral thing here is that the um, the mental cruelty, you know, the uh, these words that are meant to hurt you from people throughout this month, it's not going to do the job simply because you will know how much you're worth once again and how, uh, how uh, vast your capabilities are as vast as they go. So finally here, the guidance. And that will be uh, the Ace of Wands. So the guidance points that what is given to you throughout the month from the universe, it's really a, a gaining for enterprise. It's a gaining for thing. It's a gaining for power. And you will have to use it to make new beginnings, all right? To make new enterprises for yourself. Additionally to that, you will have to, uh, you should rather experiment with it in a sense of that, uh, how can I place it? You do have yet capabilities, knowledge, or, or, or abilities that are uh, yet to emerge, yet to resurface. So you are yet to find that you're good at doing something and you're doing it very, very good. <clears throat> So that could qualify you for a job that you couldn't even think of taking beforehand, or it could qualify you of dating a person that you thought it is out of your reach as well. And yeah, that card fully uh, advises you to take advantage of it. But nonetheless, you know, uh, the Ace of Wands on a guidance card, it does uh, represent the mean, the, the one mean that one needs in order to uh, resolve their situation of stagnation. And you do have it here with the Devil card. You do have that, like I said, power that you need in order to uh, feed up your hunger. The accompanied card here, that is to be the Temperance. So the formation, it is in an active supporters that we do have. And uh, this formation tells us a couple of things here, guys. Whatever you do moving on forward, you have to be reasonable and you should not... Um just because you know you are uh you should not succumb to that power like i said at the start of the reading you know those who succumb to the power they're going to misuse it and that misuse is going to cost them a lot for many of you more than you actually know but those who are rather you know very balanced those who always adopt a balanced position and before uh doing something drastic doing something um rather extreme they really think about it thoroughly uh, that will pay off a, a great deal because it seems that people are going to uh, see you as a so as a person of so uh, of solidarity and compassion as well and even though people may not be agreed with what you are after and even the um the strategy that you are exerting uh, in regards to what you are after they are going to honor it so you are you are going to be uh, people will have a great deal of respect 
to you that you do uh, have the guts and the courage, you know, to chase uh, what your or what your soul yearns and uh, where your hunger lies as well. So that being said, Cancers, uh, this was your monthly tarot reading for uh, June 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we are uh, going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.